These are all my thoughts and opinions based on information out in the public domain. I am absolutely shocked at the abuse. I mean, I don't, I really don't care I get, getting the abuse from Meghan Markle sugars and stuff like that. I really don't care. It's incredible how angry it's like we, we poked some sort of, <laughs> I don't know what. It, they're so angry about Meghan Markle being lies being called out because these are things and these are all my thoughts and opinions but it's been proven out in the domain that she has lied about everything about everything you know what kind of a human being has, feels the need to lie slander defame others in order to feel better about themselves you know she could have lied about her own Pass without having to denigrate or lie about other people but the point is that for her she felt the need to completely ruin other people's reputations and I do not understand why these sugars are are all angry that her lies are being called out instead of taking pause and saying wait a minute some things don't add up it is a fact. Meghan Markle led a very privileged life. She was not poor by any stretch of the imagination. I am so angry about that. She went to the most private schools there were in LA and the best university, all paid for by her father. Samantha and Thomas Markle e Jr. even babysat for her. Of course, you know, as you grow up and because of the age difference, they don't have to be there every day, but they were a family. They were a family. And for her to say that, and I mean, it is just so terrible, the hatred of this woman. She has a huge uh, inferiority complex. This is a woman who hates herself. I really do, and this is, I really do believe this from the bottom of my heart. She hates the fact that she is not pure white. Because this is a woman who's led her life in every possible way as white as possible she never attempted to even be part of the culture or at all to retain some of her features you know uh, associate you know with, with anything nothing nothing that trip she did to Malta seeking her heritage it was her white heritage because it was her white great-grandparents that came from Scotland Ireland from mr. Thomas Markle she never did a trip to find where her black side of the family came and I don't understand the sugars but you know what it is terrible for people like Meghan Markle when the truth catches up with them in such a public way she felt untouchable now they're gonna touch her all everywhere this woman is <laughs> it's gonna be touched in places you never she's never heard of before I find that hard to believe because she's been around but still um, so it's incredible. Please support Samantha. I sent her a really nice message. Please support her. You know, it's incredible how they try to dehumanize her. And and that's another form of abuse. Let's not forget Samantha Markle has very little means. And the reason why she's suing for $75,000 is because this is not about money. This is about clearing her name. I can relate to that. I think we can all relate to that. You know, I hope she gets punitive damages. Uh, but for her, it's her her name, her reputation, the fact that she's ridiculed everywhere, that she has zero credibility thanks to that skanko of Meghan Markle. Markle, the skanko, herpes, Markle, Warple. I really don't like her, but I am, you know, I am happy. I am happy because Samantha said, I've had enough. And I don't care if you're powerful. I don't care what you do. I don't think I don't care who you think you are. I know the truth and I'm going to call you out on it because enough is enough. You know, so let's support Samantha Markle. And I want to thank you all guys for the thing for the roof. We're almost there. So thank you very much. And I'll leave the link so you guys, uh, for those of you who asked, so we can meet the thing and we can all, I wish you could all come here and help me change the roof. I will put you to work. I can tell you that. Anyways, thank you. And what do you guys think? Please do leave your comments. But I mean, the truth is knocking on Meghan Markle's door and it's very unpleasant. What do you guys think? Please leave your comments.